Arlene here and if you can tell from the title today I'm going to be going over the basic steps I took to make a Weiss costume uh, from the anime Ruby for James's wonderful daughter Sam for Halloween. She asked me to do this quite a while ago. I gave her the actual wig for Christmas a couple years ago. It was a Christmas for her birthday and she's been dying to be Weiss ever since and this year finally made the time to do it. Now because I am totally not used to making costumes for people other than myself, uh, I went and got a pattern from my local Joanne Fabrics. Uh, I got a Simplicity 8430 pattern just because it has a very similar silhouette including the bell sleeves. The only adjustments I made to the pattern itself was I adjusted the neckline and then I added a band across the middle just to make it a little bit taller uh, and I just cropped from the initial top portion of the pattern. Uh, other than that, really no adjustments made to the actual pattern itself which was super quick and easy to do. Once I just followed the instructions and threw it all together, I made sure to throw it on Sam, make sure everything fit correctly, and then I went on and sewed on the buttons. Please make sure to use a ruler for this portion, just to make sure that they are parallel and lined up and centered. So you know me, lover of rulers, I was very excited to do that. Uh, next was actually putting on the collar. Uh, I used the exact same fabric that I used for the rest of the dress. The only alterations I made obviously was on the neckline, how I sewed it on, and then I put black piping along the edges, and then I actually used interfacing on the other side to make it a little bit stiffer, uh, because in her costume it does have sort of a popped collar type of look. I used Pellon 808 type of interfacing that actually just irons right on, so no need to sew. Uh, Interfacing is just always a really nice material to have to give you kind of that stiffness that you might need for either a collar or perhaps even a skirt to give it more volume and stiffness without having to add loads and loads of tulle or something like that. And then last but not least for the dress anyways, I used the same technique that I've used for many t-shirts and dresses in the past. Uh, I was just using iron-on transfer paper. You can buy it at just about any local craft store. Just make sure that you use an inkjet printer and you use an iron that doesn't have any water in it on its highest setting. And then that just ironed right on. This image I just got from DeviantArt. Great place for all free images that you can use for this sort of stuff. And that's about it for the dress. Next, uh, to go under the dress, I just bought this really nice poofy skirt from Amazon. It was not very expensive at all and it'll give her the volume that she needs on the bottom. And I made sure when I had Sam originally try on the dress with the skirt to shorten the skirt a little bit so you can make sure to see the tool underneath. The third piece of the costume is actually the shoes. Now I went on to Amazon and bought these super cheap boots had them express delivered to make sure we had them in time for Halloween. She tried them on, unfortunately they were just half a size too small, but instead of letting the entire shoe go to waste, uh, and also again this is a child under the age of 10 uh, who probably isn't used to wearing heels, so this actually probably worked out in our favor. I took the boots and instead of trying to return them and try and find a new pair just in time, I decided to cut off the bottoms so they are now boot covers. Uh, so just so you guys can see, I saved <laughs> the bottom portion of the boot. Uh, so this was the actual shoe portion. There was a lining that I peeled off first from inside. And then this is what you kind of see at the bottom. And then this was just lining the boot itself with uh, some kind of flimsy cardboard just to hold the shape of the toe and the heel and those were sewn down so I just took an exacto knife, ripped them right off, and now we have these perfect little boot covers that she can wear over any shoe that she feels comfortable in. And last but not least is of course Weiss's wig. Uh, so this wig actually came to three different pieces. I bought it so long ago I unfortunately don't remember the name of the website. Uh, if I can find it I'll make sure to link it below. So this is the actual top portion of the wig that goes over your actual head. 
Uh, definitely would suggest wearing a wig cap with it just to have a little bit more sturdiness. Then we have the little bun that will go over the ponytail. And this is the ponytail portion. Now since it had been a while since uh, Sam has been able to actually use the wig, it has been sitting in a closet. And again, no offense to Sammy, love you. But you don't know how to take care of wigs yet. You will learn! Um, so this was horribly knotted, uh, but I was more than happy to take it home, uh, and it did need to be pulled strand by strand to undo the knots. I did need to cut off a little bit of the pieces of hair that got too far damaged and frayed. Uh, all that's left really is to curl the bottom of this, which shouldn't take too much because this is a heat resistant wig. So when Sammy puts on the wig. This is just a giant clip that she can clip onto the side and then throw the bun up over it to kind of make a more seamless transition. Yes, it will be a little heavier on one side uh, if she decides to put it on the side rather than the back, but it definitely works. It's really fun that this wig comes into different pieces so she can wear it however she likes. And that's about that, Sammy. I really hope that you love this costume. I put my heart and soul into it, and I truly enjoy doing every little piece, uh, especially for someone that I do care so much about. Hope you have a happy Halloween, and everyone out there in YouTube land, happy Halloween, even though this is definitely being posted after the holiday. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know you guys can just reach us in the comment section or throw us a message in the inbox. You know the YouTube drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that little notification bell to make sure you see all of our upcoming videos. Until next time, bye!